We're at Wally World, where dreams come true, or where you just buy helmets and stuff. <laughs> Anyway, we are headed. Where are we going, Jonah? Mama, to the doctor. For Elia. Yeah, she's got to get her checkup. Elia! Uh, so we're uh, in traffic now, so we'll see how that goes. And she just woke up from a nap, so we will see what happens. And this person beside me is probably like, what is she doing? Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, I'm starting off my Saturday by going to the gym and doing Zumba. Yesterday, successful doctor's appointment with Elia. Successful as in she didn't have to get any shots. She didn't have to get any shots because she was sick and so her pediatrician isn't like giving any vaccines whenever the baby's sick. I think she just had to get one of her last DTAP, but she's gonna wait until a couple weeks when Jonah goes back for his four year. Basically went to the well baby at the well baby she checked her ears her ears are red um so i gave elia some garlic oil and then she actually gave me a prescription for amoxicillin in case long story short ellie is doing she's doing a lot better but she just had red ears so brian had to go bring the cat to the vet they just go every year to get like a checkup but they don't get shots so bella was really due for one before Nick. I scheduled both of them to go get it, but then I realized I didn't have the other carrier because I gave it to my sister, or I let her borrow it. I, I can't remember. So we got Nick in like this big carrier, and I didn't want to get him out, so I just, we just brought him, Brian brought him, and then I set up an appointment for him to get like uh, shampooed because he smells. Nick is still at the vet getting shampooed. Brian got home in time for me to leave, but I really wanted to leave both kids with him. Brian, ugh. He's an SC personality. If, if you haven't taken the test, I'll leave a link to the test below. Basically, what happened was Brian was just casually eating cereal up until like 9.40. I mean, luckily the vet is close to our house, but still. It's like, why did why were you taking forever? And then he was like, you know where my Crocs are? It's like, I don't know where your Crocs are. They're your shoes. You were wearing them. Oh. If I have to be somewhere, you gotta be somewhere. Like, and you gotta improvise. You can't just sit down and casually have cereal. And not only have casually have cereal, casually have two bowls of cereal. Like, get a second helping and casually eat it. I mean, I love my husband, but sometimes he just gets on my nerves with that stuff. It's like, okay, priorities. Like, you can eat later. But anyway, enough of me complaining. I praise Jesus for my husband, and I'm grateful for him, and I'm grateful to God for giving me him. It doesn't mean that I agree with everything he does, or that I don't get annoyed, though, so. I'm just being real on this blouse of blouse of blouse. But anyway, I'm gonna listen to this disco inferno. If you wanna join me, go ahead and dance. We are headed where, Jones? We're going to get Nick. Got your sandals on? He insisted on wearing the fish sandals, although they hurt his feet. But yeah, we're going to go get Nick. And I took a shower. Workout was awesome. I was getting so tired towards the end of it, though. I have makeup on, guys. Don't I look a little bit better? I look, I always look kind of rough in my videos. Sorry about that. I don't try to glamour myself up because that's just mom life, you know? Like, it is what it is. And most days, I do not put makeup on, so. Yep, Jonah has a um, black cherry vanilla chapstick. It's like Coca-Cola. I don't know. Yeah, and like I got this shirt at Target the other day, and then I was looking and I was like, it's kind of like got these little weird spots on it, so I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try to wash it and see if they'll come out, and if they don't, I'll have to go return it. Y'all buckled in? Can you pull that chest piece up? Jonah's didn't. Good job. That's exactly where it needs to go. So if you guys don't know, always bring the chest piece right here by your armpits. Right, Jonah? And I put it by the gray piece. Oh, by your gray on your shirt? Yeah. 
Yeah. So always have it by your armpits, okay? okay. Don't ever have it on your belly because if you get in an accident, it will hurt your belly. But anyway, I'm all about car seat safety in my house. And Brian told me I should do like a video about how to install a car seat properly. Hmm. I'd have to have him film it though. But would you guys be interested in something like that? Would you, Jonah? No, that's okay. Yeah, that would be kind of boring for you. Unless I had like slime in the seat or something. But anyway, let's get going. It is dark out, so this lighting sucks, but we're downtown Marietta. We're gonna go have Marietta Pizza Company. Church service was good. Actually, the lighting isn't too bad because it's like coming from the buildings. I mean, it's still kind of bad, but next shot you'll see will probably be a tasty pie. And not an apple pie, pizza pie. And that guy. And I don't know what Jonah's talking about. He's apparently having a conversation. Jonah! Their puppy outside. Like a. What's a dog do? Yeah. What's a puppy say? <laughs> Anyway, we're at Wally World, where dreams come true, or where you just buy helmets and stuff. I'm getting a bunch of stuff, so then I look amazing at CVX Live, and I don't look like a mom. Actually, I'll still look like a mom, but hey, look at this. This shirt, I, I knew I had to get it. It says, check me out. <laughs> That's what one of them says. And one says, I do what I want. And it's like, it should say, I puke wherever I want. But Jonah is now trying out. <laughs> Helmets and Elia is about to cause a ruckus. Elia, really? Anyway, we're trying to figure out this week is Jonah's birthday, so we're trying to find what would you call that? Like a little seat. Originally, I was gonna get one for Elia, but Jonah's kind of big for that Elmo chair, so yeah, and he doesn't like Elmo, he thinks it's creepy. So, we're just gonna go ahead and give Elia that one and get him a different chair. So we're seeing if they have any here, but he hasn't seen any yet, but we're going to go to this other section that has a bunch of uh, couches and different things and see if they have that. But hey, they got fidget spinners under $5. I'm just going to walk away. Dang, that thing is cool. All right, come on, John. Oh, and last night you guys saw we went to the Marietta Pizza Company. Well, I like got a slice of pizza for Elia and I lifted it up and like literally all the cheese and sauce fell and look what it did. It fell right on my hand and now I have like blisters galore. Ooh, it looked horrible. I was in so much pain too. So, but anyway, I still love Marietta Pizza. Oh, good job, she's saying ball. Say it again. Good job! <laughs> You're so smart. That's right. High five. High five. You are so cute. What are you doing a dance? Oh, you want a high five for me? Yeah! Good job! High five. Yeah! She doesn't even know I gave her the last high five. Mom! What? They oh, and look at Jonah's face. Show us your face. He got injured at church. He just yeah. basically got excited to see his friend Zadok and ran and fell and got like rug burn slash bruised. They covered those boots. Those so then you can't play with them? Yeah. Yeah. Smart People thinking, Lincoln. You can't play with them. And then they said, you No. Know what? You could. You could cover, we could cover those things so people can't do that. Oh, okay. 
What are you, like Walmart patrol? <laughs> Whoa, Elia, look at that hair. Let's go head over to this side, see. See if we can whatever. Oh, did she see this vacuum? Cause she's obsessed with pushing things. Elia. Ooh, this has hearts in it, Elia. Can I do it? No, let her do it. <laughs> You have to push the button to make it go. Yeah. Whoa, it's like extreme vacuum sports. <laughs> you like that? Really? Jonah, where are we going? To the lake. Yep, finally we can go to the lake. We've been wanting to go since like forever. We're going to go to a beach that we haven't been to by us. Um, because there's like a ton of different beaches. Thanks. So I can look cool for my vlog. I mean, so I can basically not, whatever, have my eyes hurt. We'll take you along for the ride. And I don't know how much I'm going to be taking there because I'll be busy, so. <sighs> Let's go. Jonah, where are we? At the lake. You gonna have fun? Huh? Is it under there? What is it? Yeah. That, that sand? Look at this steak Brian just made. Oh my god, and I just made mushrooms and Brian won't eat those because he doesn't like mushrooms. But I'm totally devouring all of those. Look at the corn. Look at the potatoes. How's it taste? Good. <laughs> it it says, tastes a lot like goldfish. Oh wait, why do you have, is that your, your appetizer? Goldfish. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Oh my god, I look so crazy right now. Ew. I'm gonna put these on so I look better. Ooh, and they're full of like, my sunglasses are full of like sunscreen. So, oh well, I put them to use. We are winding down, it's the end of the night, and I look ridiculous wearing these inside, but anyway. We're winding down, it's the end of the night, we made dinner, time to go to bed soon. And I guess, Brian, you can help me with that video stuff. I have to work on a video for church. We had a blessed weekend, so thankful for you guys watching. I just received an encouraging message that almost, well, pretty much brought tears to my eyes. So I just want to say thank you. You know who you are. It's an honor to be like encouraging for somebody else, especially in their walk to Jesus. And a lot of times people don't really direct message me and stuff, or maybe they feel embarrassed. They don't really want to say anything and they're kind of hesitant, but always like message me, you know, message me for prayers or prayer requests, message me for anything, you know, a praise in your life, you know, I want to celebrate with you guys. Um, it's just, I know I'm making an impact, but sometimes, you know, like, I do this every day, and so it's like, sometimes I don't really necessarily see things, but I know God is planting seeds, so I know things are going to happen, and things have happened, so I'm very grateful for Him for doing that, and I'm grateful for you, and you know who you are. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just like on a high now. <laughs> Like a good hat, not that kind of weird hat that involves drugs. Oh lordy, we're watching Leapfrog, so I guess I'll check in with you guys later. Well, check in with you as in a few days from now. Anybody have a question of the day? No. Brian? Oh wait, Me. I got one. Oh wait, you have one? Me. Oh wait, if you eat steak, if you're if you're vegetarian, don't answer this. No. Okay, you have one? Yeah. What's your favorite pillow cake? What's your favorite pillowcake? <laughs> oh, okay, I'll put that in there, Jonah. Uh, that will be question one. And question two, which is the real question, is um, how do you like your steak cooked if you eat steak? How did you cook ours, Brian? Well done, pretty much. Yeah. We don't really... It's like medium rare. Medium rare? We don't really get particular. We're just like, eh, whatever, as long as it's done. If we forget it on the grill, it's like, eh, whatever, who cares? But we are grateful that we have food in our bellies and in our house. So anyway, and if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, don't be mad at me because I eat this.
But anyway, you guys have a wicked awesome night. We'll see you guys on Wednesday with another vlog. And this week is Jonah's birthday. He turns four on Saturday, so be on the lookout for epic birthday stuff. And be praying for Elia because she's still coughing. But anyway, Jesus loves you. Peace. Why life?